Hi everyone. I wanted to show you a project that my daughter Alex and I are working on. One of our passions in our family is foster kids, specifically foster teens ages 13 to 18. We know that they get left behind when the gift drives happen every year. So this year Alex and I decided we would go shopping. I wanted to share a few things with you that she and I have been picking out and getting ready to deliver this afternoon. There's Alex. Hello. Uh, so we have boxes and boxes of stuff to deliver today to the warehouse. Um, I'm going to show you just a few ideas in case you guys still wanted to donate. They're accepting items up until December 21st, so they have time to distribute before Christmas. As a theater arts teacher, I talked to my older teen students and kind of find out what they're interested in, and then we went off of our own ideas. Um, so a lot of them suggested things that they can do on their own or things that they can just chill out with. So um, a big idea was art supplies. So these adult coloring books with lots of patterns and then we also provided um, drawing utensils. So we got colored pencils or markers or gel pens. Um, for something a little bit more um, masculine, we got these uh, charcoal sketch pads. Um, so that way anyone who's interested in art has a medium they can use. Um, other things that we got, we wanted to get them some more designer cosmetic things. So they had something a little special. So we got some, for men, we got Calvin Klein colognes. And for the girls, we got some makeup palettes. Urban Decay is my favorite, so we got a lot of those. Um, one thing that people are also talking about is just writing. And some of these kids might not have cell phones or iPads or anything like that, so we got them journals. Here's one that we found by Michelle Obama. We also provided pens and then we got this a wreck it journal which is kind of like an activity journal. Once again providing the writing utensils because they may not have them. Um, we also got act outdoor activities. So a light up disc so it's getting much darker earlier so they can keep playing outside. And this is a drone. We got these from Costco. Great place to go. Um, there's no batteries included, it's all plug-in, so you don't have to worry about providing batteries. Um, and then we got, so these are my favorites. These are to-go kits. So for the girls, we made a little spa kit. We provided, whoops, we provided mud masks and like a spa headband, and then we got some really nice lotions for them just to have a little pampering. Um, for the guys, we got, um, we got nice body sprays and hair gel and anything that they might to do to kind of fancy themselves up. Um, other ideas are designer sunglasses. Amazon has so many. The big trend right now is wood, so we got a few wood designer sunglasses. But really, anything that you get, um, whether it's female forward or male forward or unisex, I think these are pretty good gifts. So I hope they give you ideas and I hope you contribute. So thank you again, and I want to give a very special thank you for those of you who contributed on our uh, Facebook Giving Tuesday page. Um, so far we've raised $920. All of that will go towards gift cards for the teens. So between the 52 gifts we purchased and the 36 gift cards that you contributed, we have a total of 88 gifts going to the foster teens today. So if you have an extra love to give, if you have a little bit of money or even your time, it's a great season to do it. And let's get rid of the 2020 drama, anger, frustration. Let's go into 2021 with a great heart. So Merry Christmas to everyone. And Happy Holidays. So we wish you all the best. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.